New details tonight about what Lois Reese was carrying with her while she was on the run for weeks. Florida authorities released dozens of pictures of the evidence, everything from maps and clothes to stolen credit cards. Carol Evans, Sharon Yu gives us a look. The Florida State Attorney's Office released more documents that reveal the moments before Lois Reese was taken into custody. Reese's final destination before her arrest, a Motel 6 located in South Padre Island, Texas, less than an hour drive to the U.S.-Mexico border. There, investigators found dozens of pieces of evidence that connect Reese to Pamela Hutchinson, including Hutchinson's four credit cards, IDs, and checkbook. Also in Reese's possession, what police are describing as white towel with Pamela's sunglasses, further connecting the two women. Motel 6 receipts show Reese's first check-in date was April 9th. The room paid for until April 23rd. Reese was taken into custody at a South Padre restaurant on April 19th. Reese is also wanted by Minnesota authorities suspected of killing her husband and stealing money from his bank account before she fled south. Inside her room at the South Padre Motel 6, police also recovered her husband David Reese's checkbook. That book revealing carbon copies of the checks that Lois Reese wrote to herself in the amounts matching the amounts listed in Dodge County, Minnesota court documents. Two guns were also inside the motel room. Both Hutchinson and David Reese were shot to death. Police say they believe Reese befriended Pamela Hutchinson because they looked alike. Reese assuming Hutchinson's identity soon after. At this point in Minnesota, Reese has not been charged with the death of her husband. Minnesota prosecutors said they are currently waiting for the test results to see if the same gun was used to kill both Hutchinson and David Reese. Prosecutors in Florida are seeking the, the death penalty. Randy. Thank you, Sharon.